jobs will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Long Beach State 49ers and the Arizona Wildcats. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Wildcats are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. Number one, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Next, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. And lastly, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket. Grab the glass. Get after the boards. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Gave it up. The power forward takes the feed. For two, doesn't go. You betcha. Look at this effort! Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The point guard with the ball. Step out on that screener. Tries for two. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He can't shake the pressure. On the dribble, gives it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Down inside. They move it into the front court. The ball goes out of bounds. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Drains it. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Huh? Yeah, that helps. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. to feed the low block for the bucket. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. On the outside, the shooting guard takes the pass. Hey, Got a nice me. screen. Way off target. Gave it up. The small forward gets the pass. They work it around the perimeter. There's a high screen. Goes up for two. Look at that space. 
frustration. The frustration right there. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Up and inside. They go into the low block. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the screen up on top. For two, the 49ers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That is on fire. Now trying to feed the low block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Burke in the paint, trying to draw some contact. <laughs> Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Tries for two. He took the defender into the screen, but couldn't get the inside shot to drop. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Look out. Defender nailed by a screen. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The point guard gets the ball. Controlling the ball. A high screen for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Gave it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He goes with a baby hook. And he missed. He pump fakes. He does the sweet fake shot. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense. Not There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The kick out. He shoots from downtown. He hits it. And a momentary look from three-point land. Steals a pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. We've got a whistle and a foul. 
Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Here's a flash from the post up high. On the dribble, gives it up, turns it over. He shoots from the top of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. Entry pass in the paint. It's good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Locks it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. He gets the rejection. It sticks. Pressure that basketball. Good rebound. Great position on a rebound. Good block out. Then have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Takes the pass in the paint. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Both teams are looking to get something going here. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Tries for two. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make a spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. For the bucket. And in and out. Hey, check out the mascot, baby. Is he in for this or what? Judging by his reaction, I think he wishes he was playing. Well, do you think he liked that last dunk? Number 10, pump fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Looking for a good shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That's good. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact.
He's got a nice shot fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. With a deep shot from outside. Off the rim and no good. And he scores it off the glass. The fake. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles, and you can utilize that drop step. It's like a reverse pivot move. There's the trap. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Looking for a good shot. From the baseline, way off target. Gave it up. On the outside, number 34 with the steal. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good blocked out. That's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Up and inside. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. The Wildcats will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Stolen. The ball goes out of play. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. the perimeter for two doesn't go went away from the post and goes the other way he unloads he drains it he's gonna see this guy in his sleep tonight dick he's already living a nightmare brad great anticipation defensively Three-point territory. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy. They want shooting the ball. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Let's slow this one down on a replay. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up for the bucket and off the mark.
down he goes and no foul called either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Nice high post screen. He puts up the three ball. He buries the shot. Picked out of the air. him in the paint but went elsewhere jumped in front to take it away on the dribble gives it up they work it back to the outside moving it around the perimeter kicks off the lazy pass trying to draw the foul and he scores it off the glass That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, what a strip, Red. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Opportunity for two for one. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. There he is. Strips the ball loose. With the fake. Jump hook from the low block. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. You can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line. Count it. Second one is good. Sinks it. They are really keeping the dogs at bay on D-Dick. Hey, they got him frustrated. At the end of the first half, the Wildcats are up by four. Let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the hat. Arizona came up huge on the boards in the first half. You're right, Brad. They were extremely productive on cleaning the glass. They were like the Windex man, man. They were cleaning the glass. If you control the glass, you win the ball game, baby. 
Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. My goodness, Mr. Nelson, that was phenomenal, baby. Fakes it. For two. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Dumps it in. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Up, easy one. Spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. away the pass. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. The small forward receives the ball. He drains the bucket. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dick, is the defense giving up? No, I just think they're being overwhelmed by this offensive display. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The center handles the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten seconds on the clock. What should they do here, Dick? I'm going to time out and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. He rejects it. Rejected! Here they go into transition. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He sure does, Dick, and why not? His team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Good. That's seven unanswered. Norton's modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. Someone may have to talk to him. He needs to get back on track. 
the shot. He drains the shot. Absolutely, getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Gave it up. The center handles the feed. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He is going to the line. Makes the first. Makes his second shot. There's a double team waiting there. Goes. The Wildcats are up by 18. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the bucket. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Thomas receives the pass. Fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Got it. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. The 49ers are trailing by 18. The fake. Got the high pick. And a momentary look from three-point land. Nice shot. Intercepted. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. This is what posters are made from. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's the pick. He shoots from the top of the circle. Number 34 with the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He's got the post flashing if he wants it. 
Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Here's a double team. And one too many dribbles and a steal. From the top of the key, he makes the shot. The Wildcats lead by 17. There's the trap. He launches the bomb. Buried it. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. And working around the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta. We've got a very lopsided effort here tonight, Dick. There's absolutely no doubt who the superior team has been tonight. Great defense. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Intercepted. He unloads a three. He shows the sweet touch. the pass. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Looking for a good shot. Steals the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Dump it inside. Draws the whistle off the pro hop. The defender tried to get there in time, but he was too late. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Second shot, good. That's a 9-0 run. away the pass. He's going to muscle it on the end and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They'll work it around the arc. Picks off the pass. On the outside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Long Beach State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. We're ready to get back to the action. Defensively, no 
pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Jumped in front to take it away. They work the perimeter. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fires it down. Moving it around the perimeter. Almost lost the basketball. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Up and inside. Makes an outstanding block. He hits the shot. Up fake. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Robs him of the ball. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Double team now. Bad angle. Off the mark with a shot. Picked off. Too much. That's a foul. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. For the bucket. I love this guy, Hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use him? Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. the perimeter looks at a three off the rim and no good looking for a good shot and now there's a whistle and a foul Nick look at the number of points off turnovers I tell you getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score Brad you want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can strips the ball now on the run the other way Tries for two. The Wildcats are ahead by eight. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards up there. Yeah, that helps. Look at that spacing. In the paint. He got fouled in the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. With the freebie. Gets it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. He buries it.
decided against the open post and reverses the ball. The fadeaway. Long Beach State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they ought to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Gave it up for two. Rims out. Shannon pounded on his way up. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that taunting, though. He goes to the free throw line. Gets the first shot. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Up and in. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. They'll work it around the arc for the deuce. They still don't score. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He fires from long range. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the win. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Set that screen away. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. On the outside. Shots there if he wants it. There's the pick. There's the roll. Long Beach State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He strips him clean. Fast break possibility coming. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the outside. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Timeout's been called. Let's check in with Aaron. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. We get ready to bounce back into action here. He takes it away. Defense doing a great job pushing the basketball. On the dribble, gives it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He unloads. Tickles the twine. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place to go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. Rejected. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off.
And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Hits that one. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. For two. Don't waste a lot of time. Foul right away. And the clock stopped with a foul. And we'll go to the free throw line. Have to make the free throw. Shot clock is dead. Great defense. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He lets it fly. You bet. The Wildcats are now in the double bonus. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Gets the second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. He shoots from downtown. Gets it to fall. Let's take another look. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. To the line. Hits the first shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Makes the second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. With the big shot. Misses from downtown. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well. And, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. That was the difference. The Wildcats played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first-round opponent. Mr. Nestle, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler. Good night, everybody.